Hello! Today I want to talk about Nuka World on Tour, or Nuka Tour for short. It's due to come out as part of the next season, on December 6th to be exact. But I was curious, so I tried out the public test version. Being so close to the full release date, it's unlikely that we're going to see drastic changes from the test version. I should mention that the public test server took me from my current level of over 230 back to level 166 and the equipment and perks I had at the time, so it is hard to judge the difficulty of combat properly. First things first, Nuka Tour is not a DLC size expansion like Nuka World was for Fallout 4. You don't travel to another location, instead a location in the ash heap near to Louisburg has been converted to a circus. There's three major attractions. Spin the wheel with a large colourful tent, Wild West Showtown with a plywood Old West Town and the Tunnel of Love which takes you down an underground love tour. Each location has an event associated with it, I won't go too deep into the details to avoid spoiling the events. Spin the wheel involves literally spinning the wheel and dealing with a random chosen task. Combat features pretty heavily and there's been some pretty tough and rare enemies in the several times that I played the event. The monsters seemed a bit tougher, some of that might be due to the loss of gear but the difference wasn't massive. The major prize is the Wacker Smacker, it's essentially an executioner's super sledge with a custom paint job. Tunnel of Love involves multiple steps to repair the attraction, all the while being attacked by more miners, then reconstructing and watching the final love themed exhibition. The major prize is a Loptap, a vampiric submachine gun that has an inherent 20% bonus to damage. It might be nice to keep on you for healing. In Wild West Showtown, you play the part of bandits shaking down the town. You have to collect the goodies while dealing with the deputies, but of course the big bad sheriff has to make an appearance. Get a guaranteed western spirit, it's a furious lever action rifle that also has an inherent extra capacity property. All the guaranteed prizes have good looking custom paint jobs especially Western Spirit. Normally I don't get all fast with looks but I do like that Nuka Cola paint job. There is another unique revolver that was mentioned in the developer video but I didn't come across it in the events that were available. Overall the events are fun little distractions. They're not going to take the place of the best events like Moonshine Jamboree or Eviction Notice but they're definitely better than events like Swarm of Suitors. There is also meant to be a new boss level fight against the giant Maul Miner. I did the first part of the quest that looks into it but it might not be completely available yet because there was nothing to follow up on. Looking at the developer footage, it looks like you might have to wake it with a nuke and it looks like it will be a similar fight to Earl. But one question in my mind is, if you have to nuke the carnival then that will kill or drive away all the players that might be there at the time. That's obviously undesirable so it's going to be interesting seeing how they deal with that. The carnival also provides all the workbenches, primarily in the central area just outside the arcade, but also scattered around the park. A big one for Fallout first is a new ammo box, which provides unlimited storage for ammunition. Personally I tend to end up with too much ammunition, so I won't be too bothered, but I can see how it could be useful for storing mini nukes, missiles and other heavy ammo that you might otherwise throw away. The arcade itself offers a number of games that you can play, there's a test of strength, there's the shooting accuracy, plus a test of fire rate. And the commie whacking game of course. It seems you'll be able to get the plans to make these at your camp. You pay one cap to play and the prize is several hundred nukecade points if you win. Events also give you 5000 nukecade points. This is a new currency that you can use to exchange for Nuka Tour specific prizes at the terminal in the arcade. The top tier prizes go for 20,000 points each, so if you want everything you will have to play the events quite a few times. You can also store up to 100,000 points. There's a few vendors that you can find for food, meds and miscellaneous goodies. Of course being a carnival, there's also a fortune teller ready to predict your future love life. But as I was looking around, I did come across a unique vendor. If you go past the arcade towards the broken horse carousel, you'll come across Nuka Cola vending machines. All varieties are available for a reasonable amount of caps. This will mean that when Nuka Tour releases, we won't have to scavenge for cola anymore. You should now be able to buy it at a single location. 
Overall, I think that Nuka Tour is going to be a nice little distraction when it releases. It's not going to change the way the game plays or add significant new quest lines, which I'll be honest, I was hoping for, but the new events and activities will be worth doing at least a few times, and the unique weapons are pretty nice. One thing that is still unknown is how the tour activities will be tied to the scoreboard. That might affect things for those who like to collect unique items. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. Let me know what you thought about in the comments. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified when new videos come out. See you soon.